a look at uh, some of the pages on the uh, FMS mods we have going on right now. Um, not everything's complete. Um, there's definitely a lot of placeholders and uh, a few bugs here and there. But uh, we'll just show you uh, everything we've got going on. So this is the status page. It's going to be the first page that pops up. Got the uh, current date and the current Zulu time, as well as the uh, database that is current and a secondary database, which from the previous month. These are kind of filler information right now, but it's just kind of cool to see, I guess, which is you would actually check it on the real thing. All right, so we're going to go to the index page, which can also be accessed by the index button. It uh, does work now. So the MCDU menu, that's where you can reset your uh, FMS if you need to. Functionality just goes back to the status page, but uh, in the future, possibly, we can have it reset entirely. Um, we talked about the status page. We've got the pause init page. So this is where you would uh, set your position to perhaps the FMS position. Um, if you have an airport loaded, oops, click it over here. You can drop that in. You can put in your own waypoints. Uh, let's go with uh, JFK. You can uh, get from JFK. But in this case, we're just going to use the GNSS and load it in there. All right, uh, VOR DME control. Uh, this is where you could turn on and off your VORs. It's used for certain approaches. This page is non-functional right now. It will be in the future. You can also uh, inhibit certain nav aids from uh, being selected from the uh, VOR system. GNSS control. You can also turn off your GPS as well. Uh, non-functional right now, but uh, will be in the future. FMS control. Uh, currently, the sim doesn't allow two separate instances of the FMS. Uh, we're going to look into it, um, possibly for shared cockpit in the future. Uh, normally, the pilot flying would have the legs page up, and the pilot uh, monitoring would have the tune page up. Um, so we'll look at that in the future. Uh, GNS1 position. Uh, this page right now currently does uh, auto-populate. If we were going to go ahead and move, you'll see these values update and things like that. Uh, but all the, the date and the, the time works as well. Uh, frequency page is under construction. This is where uh, if you typed in an airport, it can get you all the frequencies at the airport. Uh, it is in the sim. There is a database. We haven't quite looked into it yet. Um, still waiting on some more SDK on that. Same thing with the fix page. You could put in anything, any sort of fix. It would tell you the location and all that. You can get your beam points as well. Uh, the hold page, non-functional right now. Um, but this is where you could uh, enter in a hold and uh, select new hold and then select a fix on your flight plan to uh, hold on that point. Uh, progress page does work right now. So uh, once you fly, you'll see these values populate to distance to the fix and uh, time and all that. And also uh, headwind crossing components, current winds, track, true airspeed, and uh, current outside temperature and the standard deviation. Secondary flight plan page, uh, it's under construction. Uh, probably not going to be used too much in the sim, but uh, we're going for authenticity. I go to the second page, route menu. Um, this is if you wanted to store your own routes into the FMS. Um, we'll have this functionality later. Database, uh, not functional yet, but uh, we'll have that working. DB disk ops, I uh, don't have that in right now, that's for when you actually load in a uh, new database into the FMS, it's not going to work in the sim, so, uh, but I'm going to update that page to actually show it. Uh, the defaults, this is where you can set your basic operating weight, average passenger weight, you know, taxi fuel reserve, um, these values, these are non-functional right now, but we're going to have these set up in the future, so uh, this will save um, when every time you load up the airplane it will bring these back up. Arrival data. So uh, if you wanted to check the airport, your destination airport, uh, just quick reference, you can bring up this page. Non-functional right now, will be uh, in the future. And then temperature compensation for approaches uh, will be done as well. Um, but uh, just the template of the page is there. All right, so then we have the flight plan page. Uh, this does work. Uh, just the origin and destination right now. There's a few other bugs with this, um, as well as if you click the next button, you go to the route page. The uh, route page and all that's kind of buggy from a Sobo. It's pretty confusing. We're uh, currently looking at it though. And then the legs page as well. We'll be fixing that. Next is the uh, perf menu. This is where you will uh, perf init. So in this case, our uh, 
basic operating weight 10,280 pounds. We can throw in your passengers in there. So imagine we have a full boat, so nine packs. It's going to adjust our zero fuel weight. Uh, let's say we're going on a skiing trip. So we have 300 pounds of bags and cargo that will update as well. And it's going to sense our fuel 4,190 pounds, which is uh, it's pretty close to what we got in there. So our gross weight right now is 16,300 pounds. Let's say we're going to cruise at 410. You can set that in there. VNAV setup. Uh, this will be functional as well. Um, this is kind of part of the default you can set there. But generally, uh, you cruise climb in this jet at 240 knots and then 6.4. Uh, you don't really you don't really want to go any slower than 6.4. Uh, you can set your transition altitude and your speed limits. So if you leave Charlotte, you might want to set this 280 knots. Cruise altitude, target speed, and uh, descent as well, and the uh, VNAV glide path, 3 degree angle if you want to change that. And then now uh, the takeoff page. This is uh, currently in progress. Um, kind of trying to figure out how to populate these values in here. But uh, this is where you would set your outside air temperature, your winds. Um, it will give you the runway length and all the conditions for the runway itself. And then page two is where you can set if you want to be anti-ice on or off, takeoff flaps 15 or zero. Generally zero is done when it's high altitude and hot for a better second segment climb. Um, and then it's also showing us our maximum takeoff weight, 17,110. We're currently uh, gross weight, 16,300. And our takeoff weight, about 100 pounds taxi fuel or so, 16,200 pounds, so we're good there. And then this will populate with the takeoff field length. This will be generated by a performance table. So it'll tell you the um, uh, length of the runway and how much runway it's going to take to take off. And right now we can set our V speed. So we're going to go 101. These would be populated as well by the performance computer, but right now you can set them on your own. So we're going to do a rotate of 104, V2, 115, and uh, VT's currently not really supported, but uh, these do populate up on the uh, PFD there, as you can see. Normally you would hit send and they would populate up there, but that functionality is uh, not quite there yet. And page three is currently under construction. All right, and then we have the fuel management page, which uh, this is working right now. So this shows our current fuel flow, 300 pounds an hour, which uh, let's go ahead and click this. Now you can see right here, uh, 150 aside, so the total is 300. Um, our reserves is set at 750 pounds. And our time to reserve at this at idle is going to be 11 hours and 28 minutes. And of course, we have no ground speed, so our range to our reserve is nothing, and our specific range uh, is uh, zero as well, because we're not moving. But once we get in the air, I'll show this page that uh, does update. And then uh, engine fuel flow. Um, this is the the fuel flow here does work, but the pounds, the uh, calculator, or I guess the log of how much fuel you have used since the engine started, it's not functioning right now, but it will be. And then uh, perf trip, uh, this is non-functional right now. And then we have the flight log. Uh, this will be updated as well, so you can see what time you took off, what time uh, or how long you've been in flight, how much fuel you've used, ground speed distance, or uh, average share speed, ground speed, and of course what time you've landed. And then uh, for the approach reference page, pretty much same as the takeoff. You would enter all the same information here and then it would spit out the numbers on the next page. Uh, currently non-functional right now. Um, this will be uh, done shortly in the future. Um, and then page three is non-functional. So um, the next one will be the display menu. I just put this in, it's non-functional, but uh, so what this would do is uh, if you clicked on high nav aids, it's going to show your nav aids up here on this map, which if you go to lower menu, map symbols, that's exactly what this screen would do. Instead of having to use these knobs, you can just turn on and off those features from this uh, display here. And then MFD advance, this is where if you were on this screen, let's go ahead and get out of that. If you're on the screen, you could advance to uh, waypoints and um, or go back to a certain waypoint, and then you can also, if you wanted to, uh, you know, hover over a certain waypoint and see what it looks like. It's non functional right now, but it will be in the future. Um, so that's mostly about it. Also, uh, had the tune page is completed. It looks about what it should be. 
um, this is functional. Uh, page two is kind of weird. We're going to fix that. Um, and then uh, TCAS mode, whoops, down here. Uh, we will update this as well so you can turn on TA, RA, standby, things like that, or set your, uh, so you can see targets above, below, and then set it back to normal. So uh, this mostly covers uh, most of the progress we have right now. So uh, we'll uh, meet you back in the air and check it out. All right, now we're back in flight to level 1, 2,000, 300 knots, burning uh, 674 aside. All right, so we uh, can look at some of the pages that uh, update. So the GNS position, as you can see, the uh, longitude and latitude. Do update. We've got a ground speed of 349, which uh, appears correct. To go on the progress page, page um, we've... Uh, not really on course, but uh, we were it'd be eight minutes to Ormond Beach, 48 nautical miles, and we are 43 miles from our departure airport. And you can see we're uh, right of course, 44 nautical miles. Temperature outside minus eight. This uh, rat temperature is incorrect. We've actually changed this, but uh, not in this uh, version here I'm looking at. And we've got calm wind, so uh, we have zero knots for headwind and crosswind. If we look at the uh, fuel management page, we can see our uh, current total fuel flow between 1,348 pounds with a reserve 750. So our time reserve is going to be three hours, 33 minutes. And we can go uh, about 900 miles in our specific range, 0.26 nautical miles per pound of fuel burned. And uh, if we increase our power a little bit, you should see that uh, it can drop a little bit. Actually, we can bring it way back, too. So as you see, as we drop our throttle, our fuel burn goes down, and our time to reserve will uh, change as well. So just uh, some of the updates we've got.